Hi guys, welcome to the short video about what happens if you run a sound pass lane without a transponder or with any kind of sound pass account. So these are the normal type of sound pass transponders which you can buy almost everywhere at Publix or I think Walgreens, CVS or whatsoever and yeah here we have the expensive thing which you can move from car to car and here we have the uh, sticker which is much cheaper the, this one is 20 dollars around 25 this is just uh, i think five dollars or so but anyway uh yeah what happens if you are here in florida and there is a sun pass lane and you there's no option i mean you cannot leave you cannot do anything you are just here and then you go through and you don't have a transponder or not even an account so how deadly is this really how serious is this do you have to face uh, serious consequences a heavy fine or whatever so this has happened to my wife we have actually a sun pass account since many many years and yeah this happened for the first time i mean we had this expensive transponder uh, all the time and our son he didn't have one so he went to a location where we were assuming that he needs it and we gave it to him and wanted to have it back next day but we forgot to move it back and my wife was working and she ran the sun pass lane without the transponder and we have been really really worried about what hap what's happening and we tried to contact sun pass and it's really difficult to contact them and usually you have to really wait in the line for a long long time so i've been checking on my account and there was nothing so it happened actually on january 25th and now only after about two months we found something i think yeah okay it was maybe at the beginning of march a little bit more than a month later but i was really checking almost every day and i haven't found anything till now and now there's the normal charge on it so looks like I mean the situation is this we have this account we have the transponder but the transponder was not in the car so we have but we have the account and we have in the account we have all our cars listed there that's important you have to list your cars with your license plate and like the type of car and color and age and whatever so they know when they catch you with an image they send it probably to india or china or whatever and there they are trying to find out who it is and if they find this plate number on your account they will assign you this normal toll charge here 54 cents and with an image and nothing else so here we can see that so that's the picture here which they have made and then they tried to figure out who, to whom it belongs and then they charged us the normal uh, toll so no extra charge no nothing so good so far i mean that was a lucky situation we had already the account and we had already the car on it so if you were in the situ this situation you can expect that everything will be good nothing to happen no extra charge no fine no nothing but there are different cases but they are not so serious as well so i have found some information here at the uh, tr traffic ticket office.com i'll put down the link into the description so you can check it out and read everything but uh yeah here we have actually the information about that i mean there are usually two situations the first is if you have run a sun pass only lane and are a sun pass customer but forgot your transponder simply log onto your account and make sure the license plate number of the vehicle you were traveling in is listed on your account you should do this within 72 hours of running the lane to make sure you don't receive a violation in the mail so that's actually our case but there are also there's also a case when you don't have nothing you don't have an account you have nothing so 
this is the thing here if you have run a SunPass only lane and are not a SunPass customer you may mail the toll to Florida's turnpike within 10 days you will only owe the toll amount and no service charge will apply including or yeah include date time plaza vehicle make and license plate number see below for mailing information so you have basically 10 days to write a check and send the 54 cents or whatever it was at this location uh, send them the toll amount and everything will be good so at least according to this site and i haven't found anything else the problem is only to find out how much it was maybe it's better to send a little bit more i mean the most expensive ones are usually one dollar 25 i mean there can be more expensive ones if you stay on an expensive road for a long time yeah just make sure you find out how much is due or really try to contact them to find out uh, yeah it takes a little bit of time but usually you should be able maybe after 20 minutes or so to get to an operator and ask them and you should be fine so nothing to worry at least as they are acting within 10 days so that's my experience so far looks like everything went really well and of course i had to blur the part of the video where you see my account of course i didn't want to blur all the small parts so i blurred the whole thing but i hope it was still useful for you uh, to know what going to happen and what the options are what could happen yeah so that's it for now i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time